I think it speaks volumes for, for where we're at as a squad. People like Owen O'Malley sitting at home have had his cruciate done yesterday, had a huge involvement, and you know, this medal that we go out and collect will be part of his. I was at home, I wasn't able to travel to the finals, so yeah, it was nice to, to be watching it with that, and then obviously a mention like that was obviously nice, you know, and I think, um, I think this season and the last two, we've used 50 players in all competitions, you know, which is quite a lot. So it definitely is a feel and it is a big squad thing that's pushing things on around here and it's it's not the same 15 or 23 or whatever, you know. I was actually pretty lucky for the large part of last year and then it was kind of around April I ended up tearing my calf. Uh, I suppose that was re reoccurring for five or six weeks, came back for a game and then did my knee. August Brian and East Hush Gipfeist had the Tiech the Nies. O'Malley and Orson is slick him to us. Bit of an unlucky period that before that it was going okay and then obviously coming back again this year had a couple of uh, little issues that were setting us back but uh, thankfully they're all cleared up anyway so hopefully I got my injuries out of the way. Please go ahead. Amach Trasta, shot that, Brian O'Driscoll. Brian Anders and you know there's a lot of other guys uh, I would have watched growing up you know they're obviously been playing on top of their game for a long long time and yeah, you can't help but look up to it, you know, and what they've done for Leinster and for Ireland and stuff. There's huge admiration there and stuff, you know. So, uh, yeah, it's great to be playing with those guys and obviously trying to compete with them now. And, um, yeah, it's a nice place to be, you know. I think there's huge, huge faith in them, you know. I think uh, there's a lot of lads there who might be playing week in, week out, but are still playing a lot of regular rugby, you know. And when they come in, they consistently be doing well, you know. And I think this four-week block's a big, big block for us as a group. So, um, you know, there's a big responsibility on us to try and uh, try and keep us moving the league and, and keep things moving in the right direction. I think the Scarlets, you know, looking to this weekend, they're a pretty impressive team. They're obviously uh, kind of close to us in the table, you know, so it kind of is an eight-pointer effectively. Um, so it's a it's a must-win game for us, you know. Uh, and then I think going out towards the rest of the season. We've lost a couple of league finals now, you know, obviously the Heineken's not there for us this year, but the Amelin's still going to be a big challenge and obviously something we really want to kick on in. So, um, yeah, like there's a great, great couple of months ahead of us. Hopefully we can come out of it with something.